found, the first person that found it, I think it was like recorded to like 500 BC. Um, and basically the, what the artist has done here is create this, this room with a lens at the top and a mirror. And the lens is just, is just, is looking at what's happening outside. <laughs> and in real time it's coming, coming to us directly. So, this is, um, Okay, I'm gonna pass this around, but this is a, uh, you can just sort of play around with it, finding a better focus point like you want, and like, it, it, it's just fun to watch, follow people, and, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's very voyeuristic. <laughs> this, this device, and it, um, the, uh, let's see, the artist uh, had the idea to do it, an art shanty, uh, with a camera obscura because of, um, they were, they were reached their height, a peak uh, popularity during the Victorian period, when people spend a lot of time uh, at the beach for entertainment, like so they went swimming, and then they made they had these. Um, people would go into the camera obscura to just be entertained by looking at the crowds. Um, and there's they still exist. Like there's there's one in uh, San Francisco and San, there's one in Santa Monica. Are they large? They're a bit bigger than this. Okay. Yeah, they're bigger than this. Um, and. And so it, it was um, really popular for for a while, and then it kind of it disappeared, and then and then we then we had photography, and so now we don't need it anymore, right? Because we like live we we live with the photo like basically in every second of every day, or millennials do, and generation okay. whatever the other. But um, but you know this is just adds this sort of mystique back to this idea of like go on the, floor. the optical image, optical illusion. It's kind of interesting to. To see what led to photography, <laughs> and they they did a lens, and it's um, not a lazy Susan up there. Can you, they can go around 360. So let me see if I can do it here. Cool. So I mean, look at how, this is teeming with people to like. It is. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like stuck. But here. Um, and then you can, yeah, you can just play with that sheet and they find it's focus, like, it's a little bit, as you can see, like, out of focus here on that plane, but, here, let me see something real quick. Um, but if you come, I think you can go way out to the sides. The image goes way out here. See, now if I go down there, it's, it's more, a little bit more blurry. Come up here. Oh, so if I held it here, can you guys see it? Yeah, that's so cool. So, yeah, it doesn't have to be flat. See that? That's cool. I'll look on the side. Neat. So, but then they built this to the table, um, and they found a, a place where it was kind of in focus. But it's um. Here, I'll keep turning it. Look at all the. Okay. What are you doing over there? Does anybody have any questions or comments? So, would it make a difference, like what the surface material is, perhaps, on the? I don't think Focus. so. I mean, I think that they just use like a white material so it's more reflective. Right. Um, but in terms of the focus, that it really has to do with the plane of where the plane of just focus is. So, um, like in photography, right? When you have it's a depth of field, when you have like a large depth of field, then the the amount of focus uh, in front of and behind the plane of focus is, is very small. So, um, so that's what is happening here. Like, I think it's probably very. I get these kind of backwards, but there's a very limited plane of focus. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, you know, we're seeing much more than we would have if it's just a hole in the wall, which is all you need for a camera obscura, technically. Like, you could just have, like, a, a pinhole in the side there, and you get the same effect. But with a lens, it's brighter, and it's crisper, and um, so you can turn it around. So I understand artists would use camera obscura, but how would they do yeah. that with when it's so dark, right? You need it so dark to be able to see. Yeah, the I think image. Well, what they would do is um, it would be like on a wall, so it would be in a room like this way, and yeah. so then the pinholes are like where you are, yeah. and then it's reflecting it onto the surface over here, yeah. and then they're standing in front of it, and it's probably a fixed image. It's probably not nothing, you know, and it is bright enough. So if this. Like, okay, That's so here, like, I could just draw them. You could sketch, so you could sketch, yeah, right, just, with, like, a pencil or chalk or something. It was sketches, I think. Yeah. They use them, like, as sketches, um, you know, for the fi final drawing or whatever, right, painting, right. whatever they were doing. Right, yeah. right. That makes sense. Um, let me think. So, yeah, that was, like, that was a big part of it. Like, the, I think it was Renaissance period when that happened, when they were using it. Um, 
to draw. Right. Yeah. It's kind of magical. Can you imagine? Isn't it what magical? They, what they must have thought. I know, because they didn't have movies then. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, this is an mo actual movie, basically, but it's... It's, it's reality yeah. television. It is! <laughs> that is a good one. It's reality <laughs> TV right here in front of my face. That's so they funny. They just need a better script. That. Right. Yeah. It's, it's just like, um... Look at how little people are. Yeah, <laughs> are you, okay? yeah we're, you can... Are you done? Sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> <laughs>